Uh, Doris, this, Dor you've been working here for 35 years yes, here at Moss Landing. I mean, this is your home turf. What we're seeing here now, is this a remarkable moment in time? This is a remarkable moment. This has been a remarkable year. I've been leading daily whale watch trips out of Moss Landing for six years. Oh, so, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't believe what I've just heard. This is incredible. I've heard word that we have on our helicopter a blue whale. I, it, it is to the south of us absolutely clearly at the surface. I can see it now, the largest animal ever known to have lived on our planet, larger than any of the dinosaurs, a creature that we hunted. So 99% of its numbers have disappeared. It's back, it's here, it's in the bay right now, live. Um, this is one of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen. If my boat was alongside this, it would be dwarfed by it. It would be at least double the length of this boat. Some of these blue whales have been the size of a jet plane without its wings, as much as 200 tons, 34 meters in length. And it's here in the bay, drawn into this gathering. Um, perhaps the most incredible thing about this for me is that when I started my career, when I started off filming wildlife just 16 years ago, someone had said, go and film a blue whale, I would have said they were crazy. Now things have changed so much in the last couple of decades, just in my lifetime, that we can do this in real time. We can bring this to you live. These animals have made such an extraordinary comeback. This is something that every single person out there should look at and take notice of. If we protect places, they will come back and they will come back in dramatic style. This animal is at the surface at the moment. It's not moving tremendously fast. I, I'm, I'm being put off by the fact that I have humpback whales all around me on all sides. This place is an explosion of activity. And this whale right now is taking deep breaths. They're at the, the surface for an average of about 2.7 minutes, and then they'll dive for as much as 15 minutes, dropping down into the big blue in search of krill, krill that is here in abundance because of this fabulous ecosystem, because of the canyon that we are over the end of right now. They've traveled thousands of miles to get here. They've migrated over vast distances. They put up with enormous challenges to come to the place that we have protected. What more evidence do you need that this place has worked? This national marine sanctuary here has drawn in giants from all over the planet. Matt and Liz, this is one of the most extraordinary things I have ever seen live. <laughs> Well, this was the whole point, really, of trying to bring you Big Blue Live, to let you just sense the, the natural tempo of a blue whale happening, seeing it swimming through while you're watching this at home. And I can't just... quite believe that. I can't believe that we've actually done it. For the last two days, we were told, no blue whales in the bay. That is amazing work. Aaron, you are truly our hero. Oh. Look at it, it's diving down. This is one of the final dives, you can tell. It's going oh. to feed, but we'll keep track of that because it's going to come up in Gosh. about 11, 12 minutes to breathe, and Aaron is all over that.